The Computer Pioneer Award was established in 1981 to recognize those individuals whose vision has resulted in the evolution of the computer industry. A silver medal is presented to exceptional individuals who have contributed significantly to the development of the computing field. Dr. Peter Kogi has been a tireless innovator in the field of computer architecture. At various times, he has also been a teacher, researcher, mentor, and administrator. He graduated from Notre Dame in 1968 and went on to complete his PhD in electrical engineering at Stanford in 1973. Later, he went to work for IBM where he researched specific architectural artifacts. This research led to new breakthroughs in computation and control. Expanding on those ideas, he based the next phase of his research on a larger view of the whole computer architecture. He researched and developed parallel algorithms and applications, a non-von Neumann programming model, and massively parallel processing architectures using advanced VLSI technology. He has worked extensively in hardware design. In a 1973 paper, in conjunction with Harold Stone, he co-developed the Kogi Stone Adder Circuit. The adder is recognized as among the fastest possible implementations of an adder in fixed fan-out logic. Their adder is now the common design for high-performance adders. Also, his classic book on pipelining is uniformly recognized as the first formal text on pipelining as a computer architectural technique. Since the late 1980s, Dr. Kogi has focused on single VLSI chip designs, integrating both memory and logic into processing in memory, or PIM architectures. His Execute chip was among the world's first multi-core chips and demonstrated the computational and energy efficiency of the PIM architecture. Some of this work included efficient parallel processing topologies, control strategies, and chip floor plans, allowing for inherently low-power CPU architectures. His work on these designs also necessitated the development of direct and efficient software models to support them, and the scaling of multiple chips to complete systems. These models support a range of real system applications, such as deep space exploration and petaflops level supercomputing. Dr. Kogi's lifetime of work has led to many important contributions in computer architecture, platforms and strategies so innovative that they are the basic principles still in use today by those who design each new generation of computers. For his development of essential areas of computer architecture, Peter Kogi is a well-deserved recipient of the 2015 Computer Pioneer Award. I should say I'm, I'm a computer architect and Peter is one of my personal heroes. Today we recognize Peter Gogi for his contributions to the development of computer architecture, but also for a lifetime dedicated to the improvement of the computing profession. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the recipient of the 2015 Computer Pioneer Award, Dr. Peter Kogi. Uh, thank you. Uh, to say that I'm honored by this award is an understatement. When, when I learned about the award, I looked up some of the meanings of the word pioneer just to get a sense of what it really meant. And I found a couple of interesting ones. Name of a na NASA probe, the name of a Soviet children's political party, didn't fit. <laughs> an organism that establishes itself in a barren area. First to enter or settle a region, earliest in the field of inquiry, those were close, but not quite. I finally found a definition that I really liked. Uh, small organized groups, such as soldiers, detailed to make roads, bridges, and what have you in advance of a main body. That, that really resonated to me. It was the closest in that it recognized the need for support and that very few people can do anything alone that leads to a major advance without help. However, I do have to note that pioneers even if they're successful, there's no guarantee that the main body will follow them anytime soon. So uh, the reason why this is important to me is that my real passion is for building, not programming or using computers. I really like building new and wacky machines and don't really care about uh, what happens 
with them, other than I have to convince somebody to give me the resources to do that. So that requires a, a bit of understanding of the applications. And to convince somebody that this new road actually leads someplace. Uh, a bit of my history as to why I think uh, uh, I've been somewhat successful at this is I was lucky enough to go to work at IBM's Federal System Division in their heyday for the first half of my career, where new, absolutely fascinating, extraordinarily complex problems, short schedules, tight constraints were the norm. Working in small, focused, continually changing teams was my day-to-day -day life. To use a marketing term that we in Owego used at the time and seemed singularly appropriate when we talk about pioneers, uh, we had to both bag and then skin the varmints. And, and so this is wh where many of the uh, accomplishments listed before uh, were achieved. And in fact, one of my best friends from that era is here tonight uh, with me. Uh, there's one other aspect of my life uh, that I think is important to this idea of uh, pioneering. Um, one, one other impression that we often have of a pioneer when we think of it is that somebody who does something in a, a relatively straightforward fashion with lo perhaps lots of hard work, but using just basic tools. My loving wife of 44 years, a teacher and a librarian, has a motto, simple things are best. And I've come to agree wholeheartedly with her. Most of my accomplishments have started with the decision that the current technology was simply too complicated uh, either for me to understand or to, to actually uh, do something with. So, uh, in fact, it always amazes me the degree to which the, some of the truly gifted people I know can handle real complexity in their head. I can't. I've always had to find a way, a simpler way, to try to uh, simplify things down to the point where I could explain it to others uh, in my small group, and then we could all go off, validate the, design, validate the ideas with real work, and get, get working designs. So uh, if I'm to accept this award, I, I feel I must do so in honor of all those other small pioneering groups who have built the really new roads to places we've never been before, often before we all realize that we may want to go there. So with that, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.